extras. In this video, I'm going to show you about the color lookup table feature that's uh, been introduced with Photoshop CC 2014. You can now export color lookup tables. So, before, obviously, you've got here image adjustments and color lookup, and you've got a selection of LUT files, LUTs, I suppose, and you can select those, but you might want to create your own. Well, you can now. So, I'm going to go cancel there. I've got this picture. I want to just quickly, and there's probably other ways of doing this, but this is one way of doing it. So, a layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to go for mm, vibrance. Click OK. Make it more vibrant, the picture. And, and now I'm just going to go for a layer new adjustment layer and hue and saturation click OK and what am I going to do go for no nope, I won't go for that I will go for ah, a nice she-hulk nice seriously yucky green color once you've done that you've actually got some uh, adjustment layers you can now go over to file export color lookup table but you can't because it will come up with a dialog, just an error. Could not export color lookup because you've got no document. Quick way around that, just quickly go to the layer. And I'm just gonna bring up the layers because I haven't got the layers displayed. And there's the layers. Just drag that down a bit. There's the layer, just select that. Just go to a layer, new background from layer. And that will just turn it quickly back into a background. So now you've got a background, you can now go to File, Export, Color Lookup Tables. And obviously give it a name. I'm going to go for Rocks 1. Click OK. And now I don't want to save it there, I want to save it to my desktop. And Rocks. OK, so that's that done. Weirdly, it just creates a temporary file. You can see it processing away there. Once it's done that, now I'm just going to go back, back to the original image. And next thing to do, image, adjustments, and color lookup. Now you can actually go, instead of actually just drop down, you can actually just select it. Just go there, just select that load 3D look. And the one that I've just created, just go for the 3DL. Click open and you will get that same garish green look. Now, of course, if you've got a different uh, document, it will basically do the same sort of thing. So I, I could actually open up a, another document. So I'm just going to go open and I'm going to select the cat. cat and now I'm just going to apply that same thing color look up color look up load 3 the loot and rocks and you get a fairly garish green look again now obviously maybe the pictures it's not so brilliant but much nicer on the other one anyway Hope you found this uh, quick run through of uh, the LUT color lookup tables of interest. Certainly, I will be doing a few more videos at some time in the future.